Alright, hey guys, uh, as promised the other day, I'm here making a new video on how you can open your ports in your router using um, and setting up your PlayStation 4 so it has a static IP address and um, yeah, this should sort out some of your uh, connection issues and things like that where you're getting, you know, uh, strict NAT types in uh, party chat or, uh, you know, um, not being able to find games in Watch Dogs or a bunch of other things. So let's let's look at first step one, which is what you will do on the PlayStation 4 side in order to get this to happen. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head across to your settings. And once you're in settings, go down to uh, network. So once you go into network there, um, what you want to do is just go in there and straight up go down to view connection status. Alright, in this list here, you're probably going to be set up similarly. Um, if you look at your IP address setting, it says automatic there. And I'm obviously set up over a LAN cable and not wireless. But this will work over wireless as well, so uh, this works for both. Um, okay, now if you're not you know, very good with uh, computer networks and you don't know how all that works, what you want to do is get down a notepad and you want to write down your IP address. So mine is 10.0.0.4. My subnet, write that down as well. So write down your own. Yours, yours might be different to this. So um, yeah, write down your IP address. Write down your subnet mask. Write down your default gateway. And those are the only three things you're going to need. So the IP address is what your PlayStation has been given from your router. Subnet mask is basically going to be either 255.0.0.0 or 255.255.255.0 whatever it is just write that down um, you'll notice that your default gateway that is actually your router so that's the uh, router that's providing your PlayStation internet that's where it's getting its IP address uh, from and uh, yeah so the primary DNS that's where it gets its internet from so primary DNS means where do I get my internet from default gateway is where it's getting its IP address from usually they're the same thing so now that you've got those wrote down what you want to do is basically the only thing that's going to change here um, is you're going to go and set it up a little bit differently um, so what we're going to do is back out of there by hitting circle and go up to set up internet connection and you know depending on what you use you'll either go Wi-Fi or LAN cable for me it's LAN cable don't go easy go custom and then in here instead of going automatic IP address settings you want to go to manual now in that address that you wrote down it's only going to be the last set of digits that change so mine was 10.0.0.4 before so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and select a higher number like, uh, let's say, 15, right? So that way if I've got any computers or iPhones or anything like that that connect, um, they're going to have, you know, they can jump in and grab an IP address, um, you know, like anywhere up to that number sort of thing. So depending on how many devices you've got connected to your network, you might want to set that higher. Um, the point is, is that your PlayStation is going to be able to get that IP address every time that it connects. So, all right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to have the exact same subnet mask as what you had wrote down. And for your default gateway, this is going to be exactly the same as well. So if I go 10.0.0. Whoops, yep, 1. Um, that's, that's where it's going to get that IP address from. So that's your router. Um, same thing with this one. Where do I get my internet from? Usually this is the exact same address as your router. So um, 10.0.0.1. Now, that there is usually all you need. I'm going to add one more in here, and this is only for a fail site. This is optional. You don't really need to do it, but I always put in 8.8.8. .8 .8. Eight. and what that is is Google's DNS server so let's say your internet provider is having a, a spastic that day and does not want to you know find where is you know playstation.com well what it's going to do is it's going to say hey Google do you know where playstation.com is and it's going to go yeah I know where playstation.com is 
So it's just a backup. So anyway, leave all that um, virtually the same. The only thing you want to change is your IP address. That's it. You know, so I've just bumped it up. So if I've got, you know, 13 other devices that connect, um, that's going to give me a little bit of room. The point is that it's going to get that IP address every time that you turn on your PlayStation. So I've just bumped it up a little bit higher to give it enough room for my computers and other devices. So nothing else is going to jump in and steal 10.0.0.15. So, all right. So after you've done with that, what you want to do is click next. And it's going to say MTU settings. I usually leave these as auto. Same thing with proxy settings. Leave it as do not use. Uh, and then after you're done, run your internet connection test and let it go through that. And everything should succeed. If it doesn't succeed, it means you've done something wrong in there in your uh, in your configuration. But if you wrote down everything correctly and you basically put it back in, um, then you should be okay. Like as providing your subnets the same and your router and your DNS, you should have no worries. So what we'll do is I'll just back out of there, and that there pretty much concludes the PlayStation part of this tutorial. Now, I'm actually going to use the I'm going to use the PlayStation browser just to make this a little bit more straightforward here. So if I go to if I go here and I type in port forward, you can do this port forward space E S four. Alright. Oops, hang on, hit the wrong button. L2. Um so port forward for PS4. You can do this in your computer if you want, if it makes it easier, that's good. You know, just go to there and you'll see port forwarding guides for PS4. And this is the one you want to go to. So let me just bring this up in full screen for you. Now what this is going to give you, this is going to give you a list of of router manufacturers. So let's say um, you have a Netgear, you can go down to the Netgear list, you know, um, that's going to take you all the way down here. So then you can go and find Netgear and then find your, um, go find your router model as well. So check underneath your, your router providing your internet what you've got and usually you'll find it in here. Um, what this is is a simple way of getting to your browser's configuration it tells you how to do that so if you aren't familiar or technical enough to know how to do it um, this here will give you the guide so if I say okay mine is a Belkin right so if I say it's a Belkin router and then I'm not sure what the model is I think it's a I'll have a quick look um, where is it here What I'm going to do, this model of this router is going to be a F7D, F7D 2401, so F7D, it's probably down here somewhere, F7, F7D, F5D 2401V1, there we go, so there we go, you can, you, all it does is brings up a list of models for that router. And this here will walk you through how to get to your router's IP address. Now, if you wrote down your default gateway, that's basically going to be uh, the router IP address that they talk about here, how to find your router IP address. So you've already got that. What you want to do is type that into, instead of like, you know, where it says google.com, you're going to type in your router's IP address into there and hit enter. should bring you up to your router's configuration. Like for this Belkin, it's going to be like this. Okay, um, so what you want to do then is it then walks you through the steps of how to port forward PS4 on, on your particular router. So now as you can see there, it, it's saying, you know, obviously click on the virtual servers link near the left of the page. This is going to be different for every router. So if you look here, um, it's going to show you what the page looks like. It's going to tell you what ports to put in. So one of the ports here, you've got 80. Obviously, you're going to be using 10. Dot, like you know, you're going to be using the um, port 80, and then when it asks for this private IP address or whatever, right? It's not going to be 192.168 for me. It's going to be 10.0.0. .0 .0. 
and then I'm going to say 15 because that's my PlayStation's new static IP. So it's saying that every time my PlayStation connects under 10.0.0.15, it's going to port forward that, you know, which basically means, in short, your router has a firewall, and it'd be like if all your doors on your house are closed. I can't come over. I can't come and see you. And it's the same thing with your internet ports. How can you communicate in an effective method when all your doors are shut? You know, and that's exactly what's happening. I, it, it's actually surprising how many shit hot gamers don't know how to set up their own ports. So this is a nice, easy way if you're not knowledgeable enough on how to do it. And this will show you how to set up your ports. So, okay. So once you've done all that, guys, and you follow the guides here, you should have all your PS4 ports set up um, in there. Usually if you want to find anything else too on this site it does have other stuff um, on how to set up port forwarding for PS3 or Xbox or any of those things as well. Um, there is another option to set up set up your uh, to set up your um, basically your router to to do port like without doing port forwarding. Um, it's a little bit more advanced if you you know you're not um, you can just do it that way, which is going to be the better way anyway. But um, so let's go over to here, and this is the way you would do it manually. You know that that there gives you the guide, and this one here, what you want to do is if I go, oops, into my router. So it was 10.0.0.1, and I tell it to go there. We're going to be seeing pretty much exactly what it showed. Now, what we can do is in here, like where I've where I just mentioned previously, we can go and set it up as a virtual server, which I'm going to show you on screen in just a little bit. All right, so once you get in there, you, these are the things you're going to have, right? Like I've got here a bunch of ports set up here. Um, you know, I've got some here for PS4. Um, and it says point two ten to .0 .0 fifteen, which is my PlayStation's IP address. So I've got all these ports here set up and open. But let's say I went and, you know, unticked all these and applied the settings and I wanted to set it up differently. What you would do alternatively um, is go into here which is DMZ, and that's Demilitarized Zone. Now what this means is rather than opening individual ports, this setting, if it's available in your router, basically, look, if you look here, it says the computer in DMZ, or whatever device is in the DMZ, is not protected from hacker attacks. So what that says is it doesn't have a firewall only for this IP address. So that means any ports in and out are completely open to the internet. So if you type in your IP address for your, for your PlayStation there, 10.0.0.15 for me, and enable it and hit plot, apply, that's going to allow your PlayStation to talk to the internet in a very open sense without any restrictions at all. You don't want to have this setting and your manual port settings open at once. You know, some routers will conflict a little bit there and it'll cause issues, but... Um, usually this is like the global way of opening all ports to just that one IP address on your network. So you can either go that way, or if you're somebody who doesn't want to have everything open, but you just want to specify all the individual ports that you require, this is the way to go here. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this video tutorial informative. If you did, give it a thumbs up, guys. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, click subscribe. Alright guys, peace out.